Oh, hello, beard. It's your boy, Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. For those of you new to the channel, I'm B, and on this channel, we help you improve your confidence by way of compliments using the wonderful world of fragrance. If this is your second video or more, we ask that you hit the subscribe button so you can come back to rock with your boy. Today, I have a first impressions video for you for a fragrance that is new or i won't say it's new but it's definitely the latest in terms of this house and what we're talking about is the house of prada and this one is a part of the luna rosa lineup and this one is prada luna rosa ocean now here's the deal man as some of you know i've moved to chattanooga tennessee uh, late well in 2020 early 2020 is when i technically officially moved here but i was living here in hotels and um, you know, like different places until like at the end of 2019, right? So like October-ish is when I got here. And things have been weird for me since then because it's difficult for me to really pick up these new fragrances quickly, all right? And so what I have to do is one of two things is either order the fragrance or go in and get it. And when I get fragrances new, I like to be hands-on with it. So that really lends to me putting things up a little bit late, but I digress. <laughs> Here's the deal, man. Um, I was roaming around in stores here recently, actually looking for an official bottle of Dior Elixir. Now I've have smelled that fragrance about a month ago. I got a little sample of it, but I'm reserving my thoughts and opinions on that until I get the official bottle. If they don't have it next time I go around, then I'm gonna have to just order it and bring that to you but here's the deal so this one here is the latest release from prada as i mentioned at least in this luna rosa series and i think this is the seventh fragrance in there i'm gonna like discount this special edition fragrance that they have but i think this is the seventh one within this lineup and really i've been super impressed with the entire luna rosa lineup one of the favorites for me out there which is now downstairs so i don't have it with me right now which is Prada Luna Rosa Extreme. That is a fragrance that I really, really did love and do love today, but it's discontinued, so I have to use that sparingly. I was a big fan of Carbon when this one came out. I told a lot of you to wear this one, opposed to Sauvage, but my personal thoughts and opinions did not necessarily represent the views and opinions of the masses. We also have Prada Luna Rosa Black, um, which I talked about a lot, and then Prada Luna Rosa Sport is a huge, huge uh, one out there as well. There's some others that I have tucked away. But this one here, what does this one represent? When I think through some of the other ones there, uh, Prada and Luna Rosa uh, Extreme, right? That one brought a little bit of spice to the game. To me, that one is a, woo, a magnificent scent. Um, all of these fragrances have this powdery feel to them, especially when I think of Prada and Luna Rosa Sport. Not to be confused with O Sport, that's the one with the white uh, presentation there. And um, here we go. So. Listen, when I think of this fragrance, Ocean, right? The way this fragrance looks, the name like Ocean, I'm thinking of something that's going to be oceanic, right? Something that's going to be aquatic, watery, maybe have the salty feel to it. Something that's going to be, well, fresh, all right? Uh, especially for those spring and summertime occasions. That's what I get when I think of this fragrance. And some of the blueness here kind of leans to that as well. Now, what I'll tell you, when you see this presentation in person, it's a deep rich blue and it kind of leans to something that could be dark all right so i'm not sure how products are going to go with that but that's what i think when i think of this bottle right as well as um what this name brings up now, when I was reading through the Prada press release for this, so to speak, in terms of what their write-up is, they said that this fragrance was going to be one that was energetic, uh, smooth, and also a little bit rich and spicy. Interesting, because I didn't get super aquatic out of any of that. Um, some of the notes for this fragrance, some call back to the originals and some that have come before this one, but you have pink pepper, you have bergamot, you have tonka bean within this fragrance, vetiver, patchouli, all here, right? We'll talk about all of the notes when we get into the official review. But right now, I wanna talk about first impression, all right? So there we have it, all right? Now, I like these because they come with this little cap, boom, go through, and utilize that when you're traveling, all right? But here we go, one, two, all right? Really got it on the second one, and got a little piece, but boom, all right? Okay, in the air, smells good, clean, for sure. I'm not getting anything that's super overly aquatic, but 
a sprayed on skin. This was nice. All right, th this is a nice scent, different than what I was originally expecting with this fragrance. When I saw the name Ocean here, I was thinking of something that was going to be oceanic, right? I, I think that this one does have a fresh feel but i don't get anything that's like super salty so when i think of salty fragrances within this same realm i think of uh, margella sailing day right that one is fresh it's blue but it's salty right and this one doesn't have that immediate salt to me now as i let this fragrance settle in a bit i don't get something that again reminds me of ocean uh for, for me this fragrance is fresh ish okay it's not super fresh it's not super vibrant it's more so warm than it is cooling sometimes when i think of these um really fresh fragrances that provide that ocean feel or what i'm expecting to feel here it's going to be something that provides a more refreshing scent and feeling to me when i'm smelling it and this one here i get more green more amber than ocean or blue now, what I'll tell you about the, the smell on the profile here that what I do like about this scent is that um, so far it has this deepness, this richness to it that I get that kind of matches um, what I'm seeing in terms of the bottle. All right. So with the bottle, it provides this deep blue feel and I get like this deep vibe here, but not really uh, super fresh. All right. Also, from a first impression stance, I know some of you may be thinking this is this one like a sweet fragrance. I'm not getting anything that's sweet in terms of ocean. Um, it has a nice feel to it. It's not like a bad scent. It's not a great scent. I think it's a scent that's probably going to be inoffensive. It may be something that someone goes to as a staple fragrance, but I don't think that this is going to be the first choice. In fact, when I think across the Prada Luna Rosa line. Obviously, this is a first impression that I have to kind of dig deeper, wear it more, see what the compliment effect is like, see how what the longevity is going to be, what, how it pops off the skin, etc. But, um, you know, in terms of what the line offers, obviously, you have the original, which was a good scent. Um, you have Carbon, which a lot of people tend to go to today, right? Is a good alternative to Sauvage, right? Very crowd pleasing. And all of the fragrances there within this Luna Rosa lineup, I find to be mass appealing, right? Um, you know, extreme, a phenomenal scent. Probably Luna Rosa Black. I think that one probably teetered the line a bit. We had some hate out there for it, but I think that was a phenomenal scent all in. Uh, Old Sport and Sport, great fragrances, all still have this powdery feel to it which i still get within this scent here the iris within this fragrance um it's not like a lipstick uh feel to this one not old smelling iris all in good scent i don't feel like anyone's going to be offended by this scent and i don't think that it's a bad fragrance at all good release not great good release not great i'll dive more into this one begin to explore it a little bit more but that's my initial thoughts and opinions on Prada Luna Rosa Ocean. Am I upset with the purchase? No, um, this is kind of what I do, but I wasn't sure I was going to love it, all right? That's why I got a smaller bottle. These are, all of my other fragrances from them are 100 mLs. I think these are 100 mLs. Yeah, 100 mLs with the exception of O Sport. I can only get it in, in a smaller batch, but this one here, 50 mL or 75 mL, I think is what it was. Yeah, 50 mL. What this one is here, there we have it, man. That's my take on this one. Have you tried this fragrance? Um, which one is your favorite from the lineup? I can give you my favorite right now because it's downstairs, which is going to be extreme. Although I don't talk about that one much because it's discontinued. So some of you guys hate when I talk about discontinued fragrances. So therefore, I don't speak about it much. But a phenomenal scent nonetheless. Great for rainy day wears. That was my staple rainy day fragrance that's all i have for you today on terms of first impressions for prada luna rosa ocean i would love to know what you think about this fragrance and other fragrances within the luna rosa lineup there you have it as always i'm your boy the big beard beat don't hit the like comment and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend we are back again and you already know what i need you to do just hit the goddamn bell